all sit by the fire in the evening. Yes, let's all tell horror stories. Oh, poor me. I washed a truck full of curtains. How would I dry them? There's a school inspection tomorrow. I'll spread them and run around to let the wind dry them up. Oh, poor me. Look at us here. We have to get dry as well. Oh, oh. It's time. It's time for horror stories. Are you ready for this? Well, I'm out of here. Hey, where are you going, huh? All horror stories are stupid. If you've been prepared in advance, then you won't be scared. Come on, are you scared or what? No, I'm not scared at all. If you're not scared, then go to the lake and come back. Do it right now and show us. And make sure you're not afraid of ghosts. Ghosts don't exist anyway. You see, I'll show you. George, don't go too far away, please. Watch me. I'll go to the lake and I'll come back. <laughs> George doesn't believe in horror stories. He's so boring. Hey, listen. Why should we be scared of some ghosts? Right, we wouldn't be scared. But if we were him, of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh, nothing to be scared of. Ghosts don't exist. I know that because I'm not afraid of anything. Scared of these tents? <laughs> <laughs> I've got a question, guys. Who was it that gave me such a terrible fright in the forest? We haven't been in the forest. <laughs> Is that Mrs. Duff? Oh, oh, it's so cold here. Oh, oh. Ha! oh, it's so cold here. And to think that I've washed a truck full of curtains. I need to dry them up until tomorrow. That's when the school inspection comes. Oh. Mrs. Dove, let me help you, please. Ghosts don't exist. They don't. They don't. Ghosts don't exist. They don't. They don't. Pam 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 pam. Pam 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 pam. Hey George, wake up. My wagons. Hey, come on. The sun is high. <laughs> hey, are you still snoring? Still snoring, yeah. What? It's mine. Oh. 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 What you made me do? <laughs> come on, don't take it so hard. What happened to make you come so early? To scare me to death? Mm-hmm. Look at you, my best friend. I couldn't wake you up. What did you dream about? Come on, tell me, huh? Where are you going? 
Oh, my weapons. I was dreaming that I was the strongest in town. And I thought to myself, it's so good, it's so very good to be a train. And then you came in and ruined everything. I didn't ruin anything. Wagons are boring. You should have dreams that you fly in, as I do. <sighs> mm. Again? Yes. <laughs> yes, again. And you know what? I've been thinking of becoming a plane. You what? I need to know what it's like to really fly, you know? For now, these mind-blowing dreams don't let me sleep a wink. Hey, don't be silly. Hey, George! Don't fail me. Please, I beg you. Can you think of something? You may not be the strongest train I know, but you're certainly the smartest of the trains. <sighs> the end of the trail. No, it's not over. You remember the theory, right? Come on, it's easy. Clear the prop. You remember the instructions. I know, I know, George. Stop bugging me. Let's do this. What about safety rules? Uh... Ah! Oh, what about precautions? Theoretically, that is. Uh, but I've never flown myself. Uh, oh. ah! 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 I flew. I really did. But only in my dreams. You throttle down, Ethan. Uh, you extend uh, the flaps. In my dreams, it was much easier, though. Ethan, Ethan, you're not a plane. You are a train. Pulling wagons is not that bad, actually. Yes, my dear friend. I think I'm getting it now. Hey, hey, where are you taking my wings, George, huh? I'm taking these to the trash. Stop, stop, stop. Can't you see? Uh, Even a train sometimes <laughs> needs to fly high. Can I have my wings, please? See you later, my dear friend. And thank you so much for my first real flight ever. See ya. Those train or planes, who knows what's in their mind? Mm -mm. Oh, hey, George. Want to come to my place and read a book together? All right, then. You know, I got a new book, and it's all about the great wizard of Puff. You see, he fulfills wishes of good little trains, even the most magical wishes. Mm. Are you kidding me? There's no magic and no wishes of fulfillment either. You can't just say that. Prove it. Well, everybody knows that. This everybody of yours know nothing, because they did not find what I have, a wish tree. And I know where it grows, George. But where? I know there's one magic apple tree not far from here. It can fulfill all your wishes. Come with me. I'll show you. All you need to do is pick the magic mm -hmm. apple. You have to say the magic words. And then your wish gets fulfilled right away, George. What? You want us to climb the tree? Oh. <laughs> Together we will do it right. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> 
Let's try to knock the apple down right. with this. <laughs> Come on, the last uh, attempt. Uh, 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 are you okay? The Great Wizard of Puff, come and make George's wish come true. What's that, huh? It's the magic words. <laughs> well, I wish there was... I wish there was candy rain all over the train city. No. What? It's too complicated. I mean, not everyone likes candies on their roofs. Some people don't like sweets at all. You know that. Come on, wish for something else, George. All right, fine, I see. I know, so I want... I mean, I wish for a red wagon with a beautiful crane. And I want my dad to come home early from work. Hmm. All right, where is my red wagon with a beautiful crane, huh? Well, let's go look inside. Where? Where? Where is my crane? Where is it? Where is it? <gasps> oh, no. We forgot to tell the wizard a date and a time. What should we do about it now? You know, George, I think that, uh, we should wait for tomorrow, maybe. Mm. Uh, uh. Oh! <laughs> Ethan, look! I'm so sorry I didn't believe you. You see? True magic exists. Oh, hi, Mrs. Dove. Where's the red wagon with a crane? Ethan bought it. Where are you going? I just wanted you to believe in magic too, George. Well, consider it a magic present then. And I'm really sorry that true magic doesn't exist. Press to subscribe and watch the new episodes. What a great present you've got, George. You're so lucky. Yeah, I love it too, Ethan. It's been a long time since I got a present. Oh, look up. Everybody, look at me. Look at my red balloon. What a beautiful balloon Ethan got. <laughs> yeah, very beautiful. <sighs> I think everybody saw my balloon and everybody liked it. You know, I've been thinking, why do you think this balloon is yours? Maybe somebody's lost it. You have to give it back then. Excuse me, did you lose a balloon by any chance? Oh, no. Ethan, we thought it was yours. Well, I thought so too, actually. But what if it was lost and I found it by accident, you know? Have you lost this, maybe? We've been through the whole town asking everyone. But what if it came here from another town? What if someone there is looking for it and crying bitterly? We have to go there and find out. You can go there if you want to. <sighs> Hi, Mom. Hi, sweetie. You know, I had a surprise for you, but it's gone. I'm so sorry. Let me guess, you bought a red balloon. And it flew away. But how did you know that? Did you find it? <gasps> Don't lose it. 
Don't lose it. Oh, please, just don't lose it. Ah! It was my mom who lost the balloon. She wanted to give me a present. Where is it now, huh? Mm -hmm. It caught on a tree, then it came off and flew away. I looked for it everywhere, but it was gone. I told you in the first place it was mine. <sighs> I'm sorry. Well, you've got your present, and I don't. All because of you. Ethan, wait a second. Ugh. Maybe just one day, it'll come back. Ethan, don't cry. These are all for you. Do you like them? Yes, they're great. But you need to make up with George. You can have many balloons, but only one true friend. Now go and talk to him. Well, it was an accident. I didn't know. And now I lost my best friend. You didn't. Huh? Hey there. You can choose any balloon you like, George. Wow, wow. Are they all yours? Ours. Ethan. It's too late. Time to go to bed. Aw, please, Mom, please. Just let me read one more page, Mom. The Mighty Hero. Hey! Are you at home, good sir? What do you want, good lady? Oh, good sir, there has been a great disaster. What, was a barn burnt out again? No, not a barn. The three-headed fire dragon has eaten all the harvest. I see now. Wait, let me go ask my mom if I can go fight the dragon right now. Yes, get on your way, good lady. I'll go and bring two fellow heroes with me as soon as I can. After all, we're called the Three Mighty Heroes. Quite a big dragon this one is. Let's strike him with a club while he's asleep. Maybe he'll fly away in fear. Who is going to strike with a club then? Oh well, we woke him up and now we'll have to fight him. Hey dragon, come face us in a fight. We'll have no mercy for you. No mercy. And who are you exactly? Listen, I really can't see you well at all. We are the three mighty heroes. Hey, actually, we are two heroes and one heroine. Oh, hi, guys. I'm here. Oh, look, it's him. He ate everything while we were asleep. Don't bother whispering. I can hear everything. <sighs> hey, are you spitting on us or what? What? Oh, help, a fire. Uh, take that! Oh, oh, oh it hurts! Oh, oh, take that! Oh, well, all right oh, then, I guess we'll be going. Have a great that. weekend. Oh, Dragons, say to each other, make oh, friends, make oh, friends, oh, never, oh, never break friends. Yeah. Okay then, the dragon is taken care of. Let's go and give a ticket to the witch for polluting. That's true! <laughs> hey guys! <laughs> Have any of you seen the golden fish around here? Well, she owes me one thing. Aha! Uh -huh. Here's a poacher, guys! Take charge of him, come on! Oh, look there! Cinderella is right behind you! What? Where? Where? Where's Cinderella? What a fraud he was, guys. Who could expect this from a graybeard? Little cabin, could you turn your face to us? Your back is to the forest. Oh dear, but this is my face. I just don't look so good today. Achoo! I've got the flu. Forest witch, come out and surrender. You can't hide away from us. We can see your wooden legs stretching out of the window. Oh dearie me. She doesn't live here anymore. She moved out yesterday, actually. <laughs> it isn't the witch's leg, it's Pinocchio's leg. He's living here now instead of her. Oh dear, no, we're late again. 
It must be Sleeping Beauty sleeping. Let's wake her up. Because with her snoring, she won't let anybody else sleep for a long time. Who is the Sleeping Beauty here? I'll show you the Sleeping Beauty. Who would have known it was a giant? They all snore like anyway. Qua, qua. Hey, that's my arrow. I've been looking all over for it. Do you speak froggies? How can I tell her? Why is she winking at me? <clears throat> my dearest, uh, Qua Qua. His arrow, Qua Qua, is mine. Thank you so much, Qua Qua. Oh, my Prince Charming, my beloved fiance. Qua Qua. Hey, I want a fair princess too. Ethan, Ethan, are you asleep? Ethan! Tell me, are you asleep, sweetie? Oh, where is my fair princess? Oh! <laughs> Hey, hey, fish! Hello! Hello there, fish! Hey, fish! Can you hear us? Hey! Be quiet, kids. Please don't make any noise in the oceanarium. You're scaring the fish away. <gasps> hmm. More time now. <laughs> what a great catch! <laughs> awesome! Ethan, you ran around like. Yeah, Ethan, like a real submarine. Hey, you! Be quiet! You are scaring my fish away! Why are fish scared of everything? You know they're mysterious <laughs> creatures. Uh, this is really very interesting. Ah, look, it's awesome! Something's missing here. I've got it! This is our new submarine. We're now going to know everything about our fish, guys. Guys, I'm gonna wait for you on the shore. Don't be afraid. George is a genius. He has everything worked out. Take the radio and keep in touch. for Grandpa Billy. Oh, yeah. He'll be very happy. One more time! Vera, would you help me? Great catch today! Awesome! You don't believe how much junk Grandpa Billy pulled out now. Who are you talking to? <laughs> Me? You. Nobody, just myself. <laughs> don't go out of your head for joy now. Right, I'm going home. Are you rising to the surface? We're drowning! We're drowning! Oh my goodness, help! Help, SOS! Ethan and George are drowning! One more time! 
Grandpa Billy, one more time. Thank you. You saved our lives. Did you find out why fish are scared of everything? We didn't have much time. Let's go to the Oceanarium. for sissies, you know. I'll go after her. Vera, wait for me. Do you want me to teach you how to play soccer? No, I really don't like ball games. There are many more games and sport activities. I'll show you. A springboard, the most simple and the biggest fun. Yeah, I'm the champion in springboard jumping. Watch me. Oh, oh no. Flying up and down is not for me. What else can you show me in sports? Who needs a skate? We have our own wheels. Chess just isn't for me. You may want to try a ball game after all. The practice begins now. Vera, you are a natural goalkeeper. <laughs> all right then, the game is on. Well, soccer's not for sissies, you know. We shall see about that. your friends. And now we've got an awesome goalkeeper. Ethan, are you in? Hey, 
Hey, George, where are you? I'm up here. But how did you get up there? It's my latest invention. It makes the little trains go over wastelands, oceans, and mountain peaks. Isn't it cool? Awesome. Can I take a ride? No problem. Come out. I brought another set for you. It's wonderful. Everything is so small down there. Hey, look, it's Grandpa Billy. Grandpa Billy, hello. Little brats, I can't see you. Where are you? My invention is not for the use of mischief and pranks. It is for help and assistance. Let's go make fun of Arnold. I should really stop watching those alien movies before midnight. He quickly found shelter in the attic from them. Suddenly, a voice of an alien came through the window and said to them, We came for your delicious engine. We came for your delicious engine. My engine isn't tasty. Who has a delicious one here? Fantastic has for sure. Fantastic. Your engine is delicious, isn't it? No, mine doesn't taste good either. We're all totally disgusting dudes here. <laughs> Look at you guys! Open your eyes, it's us! True friends would never do such a thing. Hey there, don't worry, Arnold. Tomorrow we will pay them back, I can promise you that. It was an awesome ride, thank you. But the prank was a bit wicked, don't you think? Yeah, tomorrow we'll fly there to apologize. We test the system now. We'll make sure it works, and in the evening, they'll see it coming. Are you sure I won't fly to outer space? I hardly had any breakfast. Don't worry about it, Arnold. Just let it go. Oh, oh. What did you eat? Kettlebells? <laughs> Good afternoon, Grandpa Billy. <sighs> Lovely weather today. <laughs> I love stories about castles, especially yeah, enchanted ones. <gasps> what time is it now, please? Uh, Arnold, where are you going? Wait for us. I'd be happy, but I can't stop. thanks to my latest invention. But still, true friendship is the best help you can get. Hey, friends. Press the subscribe and watch the new episodes. Okay. <laughs>